All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning, mid-October, mid-late October, and of course, welcome back to fishing. So, uh, yeah, been a struggle to get out on the water, been busy with a lot of things lately, but we're trying to make it happen, so here we are. Uh, fishing for Tog again, but in a different spot, so we're hoping that's gonna work out. Got my crabs ready, hopefully meeting up with my friend Eric. Uh, we're going to try and pursue these things, so not much else to say. We're going to be fishing green crabs, jigs, stuff like that off the kayak. Uh, so if it goes well, you're going to be watching this right now. So thank you, and if you can, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. But thank you if you have. Regardless, we're getting out to the spot now, so stay tuned because you know what we're about to do. <coughs> Excuse me. You know what we're about to do. Get some fishing accomplished. There is a ton of bait in the water. A ton of bait. Let's see what's under them. I don't care what we catch, we just gotta catch something today. All right, here goes nothing, folks. New spot for me. Uh, got a ton of current, so this is gonna be fun. I'm not anchoring in this. Like, I will be very sorry if I do with this boat. Uh, but we're gonna drop this crab. Got a three quarter ounce today. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Get right up on this structure, pedal into the current. Fortunately, the wind too and see what we can do. Get on some tog, hopefully it will be true. Here it goes. Getting bit. Got him. That's a tog. Tog on. Not the tog we want, but the tog we need. Look at Eric locked up. He's got a tog. My turn. We got a little tog in the rod. Had a bunch of really small and like softer crabs, so they've just been destroying them on the hook, but this one's gonna be a good one. He's gonna stay on. We're gonna get a tog, I can feel it. There we go, that's a good fish. Get out of there. Oh no. Just had a really nice fish snap me off. I mean, I had him for a second and then he got wrapped up in something. But definitely in another league of what I've been catching as of late, so let's see if he's still down there or if got buddies. Got him. That's a cog, a tog. Not a big one, but all right. Not the one we lost, but we'll take him. Not to keep, but to catch. on we're on everyone's having a good time this one's better than the last one a little short but good time all right we definitely got our work cut out for us with this current but they are here and we know there's some big ones in here I uh, had that one that dragged me into the, the structure and they're definitely thick, so let's try this again. Got all three pieces of crab already preemptively cut, just changed the GoPro battery, so no reason to have to line up real quick. Not porgies, even though they're shorts. Getting bigger too. That's a better one. Come on. 
tiniest piece of crab. Not a big one, but at least we got him. Right in the mouth. Right in the kisser. Another little guy. No shortage of small tug. I'm sure Eric's killing it over there. I'm not sure if he's got anything big yet, but uh, hopefully one of us will tie up with something nice at some point. Let's keep going. Keep on calling through the babies. There we go. That feels good. Better, not a keeper. Getting a little better. It's at least like a 12 or 13 incher. Oh, no, don't go down there. You don't want to go down there. Just got another little baby 12 incher footer. We can do better. There we go, that's something good, that's something good. Not a keeper, but better, better than that sea bass. Bought it. I'm getting bigger. Still left some crab on there too. Okay, seltzer break time. Today we're going with uh, the Perrier French story source. I don't even know where this came from, but it was in my fridge, so something new. It's plain, so that's not my, my go-to usually, but it's crisp, you know, nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's definitely a fancier seltzer. Maybe a little too fancy from this uh, fishing channel, but I'd recommend it if you're into just plain, you know, canned seltzer, nothing wrong with that. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna try and get back on this spot, uh, change my camera, cut up a few crabs, see if we can get more action. A lot of swings, lots of misses. It's like I'll do a drop where I can do no wrong, and then I'll do a drop where I can do no right. There he is. That's a decent fish. Feels like it might be foul hooked. And it is. All right, just foul hooked another tog, a little baby. I feel like when that happens, like there's no bait on it and they're just swimming around and kind of like checking it out, like tapping at it. I don't know. But they're down there, so let's keep pushing on. That one's not like that one. I don't think he's foul up, maybe he is. Jeez. Well, he clearly was going for it. Another foul hook. Let's see how we do with the drop shot. Worked last week. Let's see how we do this week. Able to hook the crab a little better too. That last one literally just hit a leg socket. That was it. Nothing else. Definitely will get down a lot faster too, which is good. Right into the strike zone. Didn't take long at all. It feels better. Alright, that's one of the better ones so far this morning. Not saying much. 
Drop shot. Drop shot tug. Don't do that, buddy. See you later. Go get bigger. Yeah, I think I lost a big one earlier. Either that or it wrapped me up or both, but the, one of the earliest hits I had, like it was on a whole nother level. Lots of babies. I always come back to this. That might be, maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. But he'll, he's better size short. He's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, nah, definitely not a keeper. <laughs> 13, 14, thick, it's a hen. I find they're having an easier time taking the single hook than the jig. I think because we're not anchored too. Like this, this is more isolated. Where that kind of like sweeps along the bottom more, a bit more. Whatever, this is still fun. They fight so hard for their size. It's since. Yeah. Yeah. Sea bass. That close? If he's 16, man, take him. Here, come on, I'll take a look. I just gotta turn the boat around. You gotta really flat. You gotta really stretch him to make him 16. Well. See it, see a class of 2022 fish? The class of 2022 fish? Yeah. Like exactly like oh man, Eric. Uh, well, at least we're getting closer. Doing the right thing. Yeah, I got fish in the freezer still. Oh man, another sea bass. Okay, last three crabs, let's see what we can do. Not holding my breath on getting a keeper, but let's see if we can just, just get a few more fish. That would be cool. Well, didn't even feel you.
run low on crab, the spot's not super productive, so we're gonna try a claw and see if that does anything. Fish a green claw. Might be better fish. Well, it's one of the better ones I've got today. It's not saying much though. 13, 14 incher. Strong finish. His last two crabs, could it be? Keeper? No shit. <laughs> oh, nice. What a finish. <laughs> One more proper view. There it is. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's a thick one. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's it's a warrior. That's ocean life for you. <laughs> end of the game end of the run for him. Oh, actually it's a female, right? I think so, yeah. It looks a little more blunt. Sorry, female. Yeah. Okay, so ends another session of fishing. Uh pretty fun time. I didn't get any keepers, uh, a lot of, you know, mediocre shorts, but blackfish nonetheless. And Eric got a nice keeper, a solid 18 inch so he's going to be eating good. Uh, but overall, fun time. I was hoping the stripers might show up, but they really didn't. Just a lot of bait, but not much under them, but that's just the name of the game. So, don't worry, I'm not done fishing, not by a long shot, but uh, I'll probably be fishing somewhere else next weekend if things go the way uh, according to plan. But as always, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and thank you if you have. I'll catch you in the water next time, of course. Goodbye from fishing.